So how do you create a brand that truly represents who you are and the products you sell, as well as building a business that you can scale online? That is what this podcast will help you do. My name is Henry Kaminsky Jr. and welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast. Let me just make this statement loud and clear. Jersey's here. Jersey's here. What is shaking, everybody? Welcome to another Brand Doctor Podcast episode. At the time of this recording, it is the day after election day, and it is crazy out there. <laughs> it is so neck and neck. So we will see in the next couple of days who is going to be our next president. At the end of the day, guys, I'm still going to get on with my life. I still got work to do. I still got people to help. I still got a business to run. I still got a family to feed. So it really doesn't, really doesn't, it's not going to change too much in my life. Uh, but I, uh, I am pretty glued to the TV to see where this all, see all, how this all pans out. So let's get into today's topic of conversation, shall we? Today I want to talk about using the right lead magnet to complement your positioning and sales funnel. So my question to you is, are you using the right lead magnet that complements your positioning and sales funnel? Okay. Here's something that I see over and over again as I study other marketers out there and study other business owners. When I see a business owner using the wrong lead magnet, they're attracting the wrong client and they don't even know it. Right? I'm going to share with you a story on on how we corrected this for one of our clients so that they could go on and start attracting the right clients to fit the mold that were ready, willing, and able to pay the price point that they wanted to charge, right? So this particular client was wasting a ton of time on social media, She was selling a high-ticket coaching program. I should say he was selling a high-ticket coaching program. And he was leading with this like $47 course. And what we found was this course was barely selling. But when it did sell, it was was attracting this lower-quality client that just couldn't afford what he was selling. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a different tier of client. And so he was getting frustrated. He's like, why? Why Why is this happening? And I said, well, you you spent a ton of time, money, and energy putting this course together. But unfortunately, your ideal client does not value this course. They don't want to buy another course. They don't. They want to buy something that's really going to move the needle for them. So what can we offer them to get them to come into our world, right? So real quick, before I get started, before I dive deeper into this, I just want to, I want to let you, uh, I want to, I want to explain what a lead magnet is real quick, right? Lead magnet is this lower hanging fruit offer. It could be free or paid. I typically recommend uh, a paid version. Um, but if you if you really just want to build your list and you want to go a thousand percent with the value and, and not put a price tag on it, you could do free. But make sure that that freebie that you're giving away has a value of at least a thousand bucks, at least, right? If you had to put a price tag on it, you would sell that thing for a thousand bucks. That's the rule of thumb for me, at least. This is how I operate my business. You can operate it however you want, right? So I just wanted to get that out of the way because people get lead magnet confused with tripwire. These are all these fancy marketing terms or these this marketing lingo uh, that I've learned over the years really doesn't make a difference. A lead magnet is going to lead somebody your way, whether it be paid or free, okay? And the problem here is people are using the wrong lead magnets and attracting the wrong people, and then they want to know why they're not scaling their business. Why isn't their business growing? Why isn't 
why do they keep getting the wrong clients? Right. So I'm going to walk you through a scenario of how we help this particular client get rid of all of that mistake and quickly change it to make him more profitable and attracting the right clients into his world. But before we get into that, guys, quick little message. If you're a coach or consultant who wants to start leveraging your personal brand to attract the right clients online, check out my Brand Yourself 5-Day Challenge to help you get the clarity and focus you need to create a brand that truly represents you. Visit www.uniquedesigns, with a Z at the end, not an S, dot net backslash challenge. All right, guys, so let's dive into this. So what did we do first and foremost to help this client get the right clients coming into his pipeline, okay? So the first thing that I asked them was, let's go back to the last three clients that you served, right? What did they value the most out of your service, right? Now, this is a coaching client. This guy sells high-ticket coaching, right? So what they said was time with him. They really valued one-on-one time with him. So I said, okay, we know time is limited, right? We can only work with so many people. So what if we started right out of the gate with a $500 60-minute consult, right? Straightforward, you get 60 minutes, you get the recording of the consult, and you give them some cliff notes of the of the of the conversation as well to give him some guiding points and bullets of the, of the conversation. And he was like, okay, so what do we do next? I said, well, what we got to do is we got to build a little funnel that drives people to the consult. And then that consult is going to level them up into your higher ticket coaching program, your $10,000 coaching program, right? So the $500 consult is a little higher barrier of entry, but he started booking calls with a much higher quality client. And slowly but surely, he started to get his sales acumen up and he started booking these $10,000 coaching programs. So he hired the price point and you could consider his $500 consult the low ticket offer, if you will. But that leveled up his positioning. People are like, ah, he's a $500 an hour expert. I'll spend that $500 and save me 20 hours in time trying to figure this out on my own. I'm in. So the lead magnet was something valuable that his ideal clients actually wanted. They didn't care about a $47 course because it's $47. What's a $47 course going to do to help a multi-million dollar business or help somebody scale to a seven-figure business? It's probably not going to do much. So that's what we did. So we rearranged his lead magnet. Instead of a $47 course, We turned it into a $500 60-minute consult, which was fantastic because for $500, that, that client got a chance to really sit down with him and see what he was made of. And he really got to prove himself on that call and really gave the value, really helped that person. And then that person was left saying, I want more. What does a, what's your next, you know, what do you, what else do you have to sell? Oh, well, we have this 10 K program and it's a three month course and you know, it's a three month program and this is what you get. Sign me up coach. So if you want to sell a premium service, you can't start with these, these petty, lead magnets. 
it's not good positioning. It's not. And it's not attracting the right client. So at the end of the day here, the goal is to find out what your ideal client values and give them that. Give them that. And make it so good that the next logical step for them is to take your next offer. And then boom. That's how you start using the right lead magnet to attract the right clients and really start to position yourself and give yourself the credit that you deserve because when you start leveling up yourself your business is going to start to level up your clients are going to start to level up And you're going to start working with less people making more money. That's what it comes down with. That's what it comes down to. So I want you today to start exploring what types of lead magnets are you using to attract your ideal client? And are they of value to them? Is it the way that they want to consume value? Is it the way that they want to Solve a problem. Not the way you think, but the way they think. So I'm going to leave you with that, guys. And I am going to tell you this. The minute you get over the fear of raising your price, the minute you're going to start making more money. That's what it comes down to, guys. That's what it comes down to. So whatever you got to do to make that happen, you might have to rebrand. You might have to sink some money into your business to level up its look and feel. So now that you're confident in what it is that you're presenting. I just spent $5,000 on a consultant in New York City to help me redo some of the strategy pieces inside of my brand accelerator program. So I have the team working on four different presentation decks now that will now be part of the brand accelerator offering when in the past there was only one presentation deck delivered. Now the client will walk away with four, right? All easy to use, all super valuable That's going to help them grow and scale their business. But I had, that's what I had to do because I knew if I do that, that coach is going to teach me things that I don't know. And it's going to increase the value of my offering. So now I'm like a kid in a candy store. I can't wait to get out there and start putting new clients through the new and improved brand accelerator strategy. Because it's so good. (laughs) I am so proud of this. One of the best investments I made this year. And I told him this too. And he's got it. He wants to use it as testimony. I said, go ahead, use it. But sometimes you have to put in some work. You have to slow down. You have to reinvest. You have to, maybe you have to invest in personal development. Maybe you got to build yourself up, right? Maybe you got to build your business up before you can start raising those prices. But when you start raising those prices and start coming out with lead magnets that are a lot more valuable to the ideal client that you want to serve, people are going to start looking at you like, aha, why haven't I found you sooner? And that's that's a great position to be in, right? So you don't want to compete with the nickel and dime, you know, $50 courses. I mean, who wants to, who wants to run that rat race? Not me. I'd rather offer a premium service, deliver a higher value. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit more expensive to operate. But at the end of the day, my clients are going to be way ahead of those silly, you know, few thousand dollar programs to to get your brand up and running. 
it's, it's just not me. So hope you got some value out of this, guys. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to check out that five-day uh, Brand Yourself Challenge that the that I spoke about before uh, earlier in the show. Uh, awesome, awesome um, little challenge there for you guys to get your personal brand leveled up. So highly recommend you take that challenge. It's, it is awesome. And a lot of people are going through it right now that are loving it. I'm getting awesome DMs, uh, saying that it's, it's definitely making them think differently about how to position their personal brand online. And they're taking some, some action steps and I'm, they're already seeing results. So go check out that five day challenge. It's, uh, unique designs with a Z at the end. Um, uh, unique designs with a Z at the end, not an S dot net backslash challenge. So have an amazing day, guys. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Real soon. Hey everyone, this is Henry Kaminsky Jr. again. And really quick, I want to invite you to a one on one consult with me right now. If you're looking for the clarity and focus you need to build your brand, brand. Over the past 13 years, I've served hundreds of entrepreneurs that have great products but struggled tremendously with articulating its value to their ideal customers. You didn't get in the business to just change a few lives, did you? Your ideal clients need you. And when your brand has precision crafted messaging coupled with beautifully thoughtful design that sounds, looks, and feels like you, they'll know you're the perfect match for them. If this is something you're struggling with, what I want you to do right now is pause this audio and go visit www.uniquedesigns with a Z at the end, not an S, dot net and book your one-on-one console call with me. Remember, the quality of your brand will determine the quality of your clients. And the quality of your clients will determine the quality of your life.